For our experiment, we're going to take five apples and put them in five different locations, and then take another apple out of a controlled group and put it in the refrigerator where apples are supposed to be. Yeah. And then we're going to see which apple rots the fastest. That would be an apple in the garage, in the car, in a pantry, in the backyard, and in vinegar, submerged in vinegar. The end. Okay, I'm going to put this apple <laughs> in a cup of vinegar for five days and take a picture of it every single day and see what happens. I'm going to put this apple in the pantry for five days and we'll see what happens. I'm going to put this apple in a car for five days and see what the results are. So I'm going to put this apple in my garage. Yep. And I'm going to take a picture of it every day for five days and see how it looks. I'm going to put this apple in my backyard and we're going to see what happens for five days. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't get eaten by an animal. So. Yeah. Okay, what did you say about the vinegar? I think it's going to burn the apple. Really? So you think that one's going to rot the fastest? Is it going to like catch on fire or like flame? No. I think the one in the garage might actually rot the fastest. It's kind of like hot and it's like in a ring. Yeah. How is that going to taste? It'll pickle it. It will pickle it. It will pickle the apple. So it's just going to be like Chop it up and like put it in there and we should taste it. I mean, you'll be able to see it better if you cut it. Yeah, we're going to cut the apples in half. Yeah. Cut them in half. Cut them in half. Yeah, I mean, yes. it matter. Just chop them in half. A chance. control group, though. So how gross is it going to be? The control group is just in half in the refrigerator. So it's going to stay. Oh, okay. It'll probably stay. Yeah. Pretty decent color for a while. Ew. That's gross. Yeah. Okay, for my project, I was the one who put the apples in the car for five days. And I think out of all of them, I got the most results because it turned out looking like this. Um, mostly it grew mold. Like after the first like two days, I started to see mold. And it's not even hard anymore. Like it's like squishy. So I think out of all of them, this brought it the most in a car for five days and the average temperature in my car was about 35 degrees so maybe because it was so cold it caused it to rot so much but that is what happened after five days in a car. So for my apple I put it inside the garage and it was at around 60 degrees for like five days and I took a picture every day and at the end of the trial the apples looked like this. So actually not too bad except it's like brown so I wouldn't eat it. The apple looked like after five days of being in vinegar, totally in vinegar, about two millimeter, two uh, cups of vinegar. Looks like really brownish. Ah. See that right there? It looks like it just died. It used to be nice and good red, and now it's like really crappy brown. Um, it smells like vinegar and apple juice mixed together. Um, see, like. Ew! Alright, so I'm going to be putting this apple in uh, vinegar. Um, his name is Vinny, right here. He's about two inches high, um, one inch wide. I'm going to put him in uh, about one half cups of vinegar. So, there's a half cup. So I'll put three of these in there.
I'm gonna be observing him for about five days. Every day I'll take a picture. See the difference. I'm gonna chop him in half to expose the inside of the apple. As you can see. Taking out the stem for it. Chop. Okay, so I stored my apple in my backyard. However, on the third day, it was eaten by birds. So I didn't get much results. And I don't know what to say because I don't have an apple to show you, but I do have pictures from the first two days. And it's kind of sad that they were eaten by birds. Okay. <laughs> Five days of keeping my apple in the fridge and the pantry, I, the one in the fridge ended up looking fine, and so I ate it, and it tasted good. And the one in the pantry just rotted, so I threw it away, and here are some pictures of them since I don't have them with me. I thought it would. I thought it would look like this. Uh, I don't know yes. what she got her car. To make it look like this, but it is nasty. Yeah, that obviously rotted the most out of all of them. Yeah, the one in vinegar just got pickled. Yeah, I don't even think that's like actual rot. It's just. A uh, I don't want it, my hands to smell like it. I ate mine, so obviously it was fine. <laughs> you one, ate yours. The other one wasn't like the other one looked. The one in the pantry looked like. A bit like that, but a bit less rot actually. Uh, actually, it. mine rotted more when it was in my backpack coming over here right. than it did when it was in my garage. Mm -hmm. So it, it wasn't actually brown. It was like colder in your garage. Yeah, it was only 60 degrees. It directed. And the control kind of really didn't need to rot at all. It's just the same. So it shows that when it's in something other than a refrigerator, that it speeds up the decaying rate. 